you know, coming out and uh, doing uh, snake things, and he doesn't mind as much. Still gets the kill, but here we go. Final destination, first map. We got Venia fighting off against Nixie Greninja versus Captain Falcon. So this is a matchup that was really strange in the previous iteration of Smash in that they're just both really fast, they just want to hit, and they can do that very well. And from the little bit that I've been able to see out of these two characters, their game plans haven't really changed. They just want to press buttons on you. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to be trying to go for. And here we go. Loser this is going to be going with a fifth place finish. Good setup. Benny gets so much off of that down tilt, setting up Nixie to get that forward air. Which is a phenomenal start from Benny. I think one yeah. of the aspects of Greninja that definitely stuck around from Smash 4 is the fact that he's such a momentum-based character. He has all the tools for being able to stop someone, start up his combo, and then just keep him rolling. But if there's anybody that can stop anyone's momentum, it's going to be Nick. That Hydro Pump was called out so hard from Nixie. Had that down there ready to go, spiked him into oblivion. That was a good delay from Nick, but Venya was at the ready with that neutral air. Didn't get a follow-up after it, though. I think one of the new things that we can see is how well Venya's adjusted to how to utilize his tools. Uh, it's more specifically up tilt. He's using that a lot more just for the sake of starting up his, uh, his juggling and keeping that going. And then when he's ready to go in for the kill, down tilt is what he needs to to be up smash in that situation. But previously, up tilt used to be like one of his combo moves. Now it's just top him up, keep him popped up. And that's one of the aspects of Final Destination that's always been a very strong aspect of this being a start of stage. All right, trying to dash back and forth, managed to connect both of the hits of neutral air. Neutral Air 1 is phenomenal. I know Nick Nick has been going on and on about it yeah. on Twitter. It's a combo starter, and you can just drag your opponent. Like, you just go. Falcon has his way with you in the air, and it just never ends. That was a fantastic parry coming out from Nixie, trying to get that big punish afterwards. But Nixie's already sitting on his final stock. If anyone went for the ultimate with that down air, but because he was high enough in the air, he did not SD from it. He knew exactly what he was doing. Big punish time. <laughs> there we go. Was that melee for a second? Hold on. I wouldn't blame you for thinking so. We can't take those down airs now, so it leading up into forward air. Okay, chill, 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 chill. If we felt it <laughs> resonate in our soul. I want that every time down air to me lands. And it's going to land a lot in Nick's hands. But Nick has to play pretty safely. I, I don't know if he's going to play safe, per se, but he definitely has to keep his mind. He's out of jumps. Oh, I. Yeah, nah. right. Good mix up with the Hydro Pump, regaining his resources to get back to the stage safe and sound. Yeah, this is Venia we're talking about. Even yeah. when he's got his back against the wall, he's still never out of options. Yeah, but Nixie tacked on a lot of damage with all that stage control he was running with. Within the grab, spot dodge, netting his... Oh, not the victory just yet, even though we saw the sparks fly. Yeah, man, dramatic finish is like the biggest falsehood. Because look, no yeah. finish there, but no we finish get there. the game one Yep, end. yep, that's absolutely right. Now, the thing is, like, Nixie got so much damage off of that stage control that he had there at the very end when he was like because Venny was only at like 30 or 40 percent and then he didn't get back on stage for a good 15 seconds so it, all that damage was tacking on but Venny was just looking for that one down tilt to connect into the combo finisher he needed so now we're going to go into game two Nixie thinking about his bands yeah I think the uh, that last stock of that game even though Venny did win the game one I think it's just indicative of what Nick can accomplish with Falcon because he just he just throws you in jail. You're at the ledge, and what are you really doing if not for the fact that Greninja's being piloted by someone so confident about his movement? I don't really know if someone else would have been able to get off the ledge like that. So here we go. Final destination again. Okay, down tilts again. You notice that little new animation coming out from Greninja. He like, does a little karate chop at the uh, opponent's ankles. There we go. Opting to go for that dash, cancel it into a jab. <laughs> There's a bunch of new things we got to get used to looking at. One new thing in particular, I think a lot of people are going to have to get used to is the fact that Uppy from Falcon threatens kill now. That was a good use of the parry mechanic because uh, what was going on there is that there's a multi-hit like Hydro Pump that doesn't really do like flinching knockback or anything. You're allowed to just let go of shield, get the free parry so you can instantly move so you can get the punish as fast as possible. Good use of the shield mechanic from Nick. But Venia... Coming in strong, cutting that up smash, unloading the toad on him. <laughs> he, Unfortunately, the toad got unloaded a little too long. Now, I'm, I'm curious what happened there, because I think he went, might have possibly went for like a down air. Let's uh, let's check the tapes. While we're checking the tapes. Can, can you actually? All right, so anyways, 
Multi-jab at the ledge. Gonna allow Venya to get some sort of stage control. However, the Hydro Pump win box is definitely not in his favor anymore. And he got that punish with a down smash afterwards, too. That was just super unfortunate. Okay, so what happened? We checked the tape. What happened is that Nixie footstooled him. So That's he just fell into point. his he just fell into his death. He's too down, he was too below. Don't know if that was accident or not, but we take those. Absolutely. Now coming back to the match at hand, percentage is at a dead even, and I feel like stage control is just gonna keep on swapping between these two. They're so violent with how they keep on approaching each other, but they they respect each other's attempts at controlling the stage, which is why I feel like it's rotating so rhythmically. My man's looking for that down tilt into up smash. There he gets it again. Nixie a little bit too high that time around, trying to go for a second air dodge. Not enough to get that kill just yet. Nixie's si surviving at 135%. Good catch on that roll, just going for the dash attack, a very meaty attack. He stays active for a long time. He thought he, I think he was trying to go for like a forward tilt, maybe it didn't come out. They both looked like they weren't ready for that interaction. Yeah, yeah. Just Benia pulled the trigger first. Falcon kick raw, right in his face. Dash attack with a follow up. All right, uh -oh. I like the substitute attempt. Interesting. Yeah, as was brought up earlier, substitute now can pierce shield. So yep. it's like, oh! oh my good God. Venia jumping out there to solidify that kill, taking a 2-0 victory over Nixie, who is actually picked as a fan favorite to win this tournament, finishing off at fifth Look how place. Venia ends this. Who does that? Venia does. I mean, the thing is, he had a stock to play with. So he even did. if he that whiffed and went flying into the blast zone, he had another stock to come in, very fresh stock, while Nixie was at high percent. So. Yeah.